I can think of no better way to end the 2013 Clearwater Sea Blues Festival than the man that was here for the first. Hi, I'm Lexi Lewis with Destination Tampa Bay Magazine. I'm here at the Clearwater Sea Blues Festival with Coco Montoya. He is tonight's headliner. Coco, welcome to Florida. Thank you, Lexi. I'm glad to be here. Glad to have you. Tell me this. What is it like playing the guitar in the blues arena the way that you play it? And the way and what I'm saying is, I understand that you play the guitar in a different way. Describe that for everyone. Uh just it's <laughs> left-handed upside down, I guess is what you would call it. It's just from uh, being self-taught and picking up right-handed guitars because like, there were no left-handed guitars when I was a kid, so that's the way I learned how to play. And, uh, pretty much the examples of other people that did it before me, the Otis Rush, Albert King, people like that, Bobby Wellman. Now, who are some of your uh, people that inspired you as oh, you were learning to play? Gosh, everybody. I mean, definitely Albert King, Albert Collins was a big influence on me. Uh, BB, of course, Eric Clapton, very big influence. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like to just say everybody I see, you know, even to this day, you know, will, will influence me in some way. What's your most memorable performance? <laughs> oh, gosh. There's too many to count. There's just so many. Uh, playing with John Mayall for 10 years, and I have many, many wonderful shows. Uh, playing with some of my idols, having Albert King come up and sing with us and play. Nice. It's pretty exciting. Most of anything I did with Albert Collins was incredibly memorable. Incredible man. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give aspiring blues artists? Uh, I guess never forget why you get in, into music for the first, you know, from the get go. You get into it because you love music. And you got to keep that in your heart because uh, there's two separate things there's playing music and there's music business. And, uh, sometimes they can uh, butt heads. So when it gets rough, things just seem like uh, real negative. Always take a pause and be grateful that you're playing. Yeah. Now, you've been in the music industry a very long time. What are your thoughts on the way uh, marketing of artist music and things has shifted? Uh, probably that's something I think is just uh, right now has no definition at this point. Uh, everything has changed so much. And, uh, the way things are done is uh, I'm not sure what direction it's going or how it's going to work itself out. I, mean, uh, I, I come from a place where having something physical to hold on to, whether it was an album or a 45, a tape. CD, you know, something you can actually touch, you know, it's pretty exciting for me. I, I, I don't know where it's going, but um, hopefully it'll all straighten itself out. Marketing will figure out how to market music again and get to a stable place where um, musicians can get paid and people can get to the music that they want to hear. Now, speaking of music that people want to hear, I know some folks want to hear something you've got brewing. What's going on? What do you have um, coming out? Working at this point right now, we're trying to work on maybe releasing a, a live album. Nice. Hopefully this year. Uh, we have some uh, some good shows that we've uh, taken some time for. So hopefully that'll happen this year. Now, I think the last album you had, Kev Mo produce yep. it. Uh, tell me a little bit about that and if you've got anyone uh, producing this one that, that people well, are also familiar with. At this point, uh, the album I did with Kevmo, which was great, it was a wonderful time. It's called I Want It All Back. It was on Roof Records. And uh, I think uh, I'm very proud of it. Uh, Kevin took me to a, a, a very uncomfortable place, you know, doing it. That's, and I think that's really what I needed, you know. Uh, great guy to work with. Uh, Jeff Paris is another great guy that was uh, producing, co producing. Got to track with some great players Reg McBride on bass, and Steve Ferroni on drums. Uh, Great, great people like that. So it was a great experience, and I hope people still, um, you know, to have a look at it. We're going to do songs from that tonight, and, and do songs from all the other all the other albums. And play the blues too as well. So. Yeah, great. Now, are they helping you out with this new CD, or who's who's? It'll be Roof that? Records. It'll be Roof Records, and hopefully that'll, uh, like I said, will come out this year. But I don't know, so we're still working on it. <laughs> great. Well, everyone, Coco Montoya. I am Lexi Lewis for Destination Tampa Bay Magazine. Thank you for watching. Hey, Tampa Bay. Uh, how about let's hear it for the great Coco Montoya. Go!